Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and that's right, Sergeant Creel. And this is one of those comic book boxes, and I wasn't sure that I was going to go after this guy at first. But after looking at that green lightsaber, it was just calling to me. Alright, let's just look at the Stormtrooper up close for a minute. Um, I really do like this piece right here. I think it really adds some deco to this trooper. I like these pieces that he has on his arms. And you know what? You can actually take those off and stick them on some other figure if you wanted. And then, of course, he's got this like little bag that hangs down, which is super cool. He's got this little leg piece right here, which also is removable because it's just strapped on. And then, of course, he's got your traditional Stormtrooper pistol holder right there. It's kind of interesting because I consider almost all of my Stormtroopers right-handed, yet their holster is on the left and in the back. So I think it makes it almost difficult for them to draw out. But I do think this guy is actually really cool. And one of the things that I think makes this guy awesome is this lightsaber that he comes with. Now, this is the new articulation Stormtrooper. So, of course, it's going to have all kinds of articulation on it. If you look at those shoulders, these pads are, like, attached up here so it doesn't, like, hinder movement. He's got his more than 90 degree angle there and then he's got some good articulation in the legs. And this guy is going to be super Posable. If you've been collecting Black Series figures as long as I have, you have some of the older Stormtroopers as well. And they're really good figures to like have in your collection. So it's always good to have some of these regular Stormtroopers, especially if you like that OG. And they're making a comeback because of that Andor and the Mandalorian. And of course, the Mandalorian had this like remnant guy. And this remnant trooper actually pulled his head off. So he has a different head underneath there. So of course, like... You should always have a couple of sand troopers in your collection. And I have these. One of them's from like the Dewback pack and one of them's from, um, I think, an orange card. But anyways, of course, then they had this guy right here that came with his rocket launcher. They have this guy here from the Mandalorian who has his um, flamethrower. Then, of course, there's this guy right here, which up until today... I might have said is one of my favorite troopers and that guy is actually super cool and of course i got another sand trooper right here that i'll just throw in there just to show him off and then of course there's this guy who's the gaming greats and that's that holographic and that's that same look so that's quite a few stormtroopers that i have in my collection all right i picked some up because they fell over so the scene might look a little bit different anyway so to add on to that of course you got the george lucas who's the creator right he came in his stormtrooper outfit and the good thing is he was a newer body style the unfortunate part is you did get like a luke and uh he did not come with that newer body style. And, of course, you don't want to forget uh, old Han Solo here, who was also in Stormtrooper disguise. So there you have it. Those are just some of my regular Stormtroopers. Um, all of my other clones and stuff like that are still on the shelf, but I wanted to pull these ones off. And then just before we go, I'm going to just take you up here and show you my Shogun uh, Warrior Stormtrooper who matches. And that's basically, and that's basically my Stormtrooper collection. So there you go. There's Sergeant Krill. He's a great addition to my Stormtroopers. And I hope you like this video. Thanks for sticking around and checking it out. And as always, have a fantastic day. And these are from the tradition. Oh. And of course, George Lucas, of, oh. and of course, George, oh.